and welcome. You are watching the Straight Beer News. I am your host, Chris Hardy, and today we'll be talking about what the discoveries of these new planets has to do with beer. So this week I got really excited when I saw the discovery of uh, new exoplanets, and it kind of brought back the kid astronomer in me that I was really excited about the, about those announcements, and I was wondering if um, if you hadn't heard of it. It's been all over the news. In fact, it was the subject of a Google Doodle earlier in the week. Astronomers and looking for exoplanets is kind of like a, looking for a plant, a planet similar to our own that could possibly house life. And this proves a difficult task because some of the the suns that these planets orbit around are really big and bright, and so they're too hot for many of the uh, the planets to house any any life, or they're too cool. For example, our own solar system, we are the third planet away. But any closer to us, any closer to our sun, it would be too hot to sustain life, and any further away would be too cool to sustain life. So there's this window that's called the Goldilocks zone, and so these astronomers are constantly looking for planets in this Goldilocks zone, where these where planets are not too close to the sun to be too hot, or too far away to be too cold. So they're they're just right. Now these planets were found in a system um, where the sun was called Trappist One. And so these are known as the TRAPPIST-1 uh, planets, and they're labeled B through G. Now uh, there's an H planet as well that's still um, being, uh, I guess, evaluated. We're still learning more about it. Anyway, you may be asking, so why the name TRAPPIST for the sun? And the reason for it is the, uh, the telescope that found it, uh, situated in Chile, however, was built and is maintained and run by Belgians, one of the most... Uh, Famous, most popular styles of beers in Belgium is called a Trappist beer, Trappist ale. And these are beers that are um, produced in a um, Trappist monastery. This is how they get the term Trappist. It's a very specific kind of beer made in a very specific location with monks. So they're not very many uh, and mostly located in Belgium. Um, so it's something that the, the Belgian, um, the Belgian uh, people take great pride in. Well, on Reddit this week, there is a Q&A, or what they call an AMA, meaning Ask Me Anything. Um, so the public could ask the researchers, the astronomers, the scientists, questions about the discoveries. And one of the questions came up about the names of the new planets. In response, one of the scientists said, quote, With the Trappist team, we were more considering using names of the few Trappist beers. End quote. And that was by J.D.W. Julian DeWitt, and he is a um, he was one of the co-authors of the paper that was published um, describing the discoveries, as well as an astronomer from MIT. Again, this is the coolest thing I've heard in a long time. I think this might be the the neatest news story I've put out ever. Uh, the idea of naming planets um, for Trappist beers was just really cool. Just my mind was blown. That seems really neat, and I'm really excited for it. I hope it happens. Wondering if there's a way to, to make it happen, if there's a, a petition going around, or if there's something I can sign to add my name, because I'm on board. I think this would be great. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you watching and coming back every week. If you don't want to miss any episodes or any shows, please subscribe. Click that subscribe button. Uh, if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. If you have any comments about any of the things I've said today, leave me a message in the comment section below, I'd be happy to interact with you. Also, if you'd like, you can find me on the social media. I am on Twitter, I am on Instagram, and I'm on Untapped, so you can follow me at those sites. The place, the instructions and where to find me are in the description box. So again, thanks for watching, this has been the Straight Beer News, I am Chris Hardy. Thanks for watching, see you next time.